Update 4 on what is now Tropical Storm Taute was named earlier by the India Meteorological Department. Located at 12.2 degrees north, 72.1 degrees east, it is making that recurvature northward as expected. It is 8 a.m. in Mumbai, 7.30 a.m. in Karachi, May 15th, 2021. It's got winds of 65 miles an hour, pressure of 986 millibars, and it is currently moving to the northeast at about 4 miles an hour currently. Here it is on the map there, 60 miles an hour as previously mentioned. And the wind field is definitely an odd one. 30 nautical miles to the northeast, 80 to the northwest, 265 nautical miles to the southwest, and 300 to the southeast. It is 168 miles away from Mangaluru, 208 from Panaji, 420 from Mumbai, 675 from Jandakar, and 897 away from Karachi. In kilometers, that is 270 from Mangaluru, 335 from Panaji, 676 from Mumbai, 1,092 from Jamnagar, and 1,444 away from Karachi. The wind field, the way it looks like that, is mainly due to the shear that's been influencing it. It is expected to balance itself out soon. Here it is, 65 miles an hour. We're pretty much in agreement with SACON and ADT. Joint Typhoon Warning Center is going much lower at right now at a 50 mile an hour tropical storm. They should be upgrading it as their last up was at 21Z at the time of this recording. Here is our cone made by K. We are expecting this to intensify into a Category 1 Cyclone Strength System within the next 12 hours. It will continue to intensify after that, becoming a Category 4 in the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Scale. Extremely severe cyclonic storm there. After that, it will make a potentially catastrophic landfall in either southeastern Pakistan or in that Sin Peninsula there in India as a potentially uh, Category 3 cyclone there. Here are sea surface temperatures around the region. It is in a very healthy environment right now. 30 to 31 degrees Celsius temperatures and that remains all the way up there towards about 200, 100 miles away from the coastline there. So it's got some very good conditions for a while and even then 28 to 29 is still very conducive for development there. Here are the HWRF wind swaths. We could be looking at category two or three force winds where it does make landfall. Rainfall is also a problem, up to 16 inches of rain in spots. And unfortunately, the flooding situation in Western India where they could be seeing several inches of rain as well. Here are the intensity models we're looking at. at all. Most of the models producing the category three or category four based on the rate of intensification. That is why we're going with category four at this time. Shear is expected to decrease, especially with the 17th 18th and potentially 19th that will also be helping that strengthening trend sea surface temperatures will remain pretty favorable for right now and relative humidity will be peaking around tomorrow before slowly declining by the time we head into the 18th and 19th that is probably going to be the thing that uh, promotes weakening as we head into uh, the days closer to landfall here it is on satellite there um, it's been sheared and that's what's been limiting those tropical storm force winds on being in the northern quadrant and why that's so small compared to the southern quadrant although that is expected to change as it continues to get itself more consolidated and organized and we could be looking at a very significant cyclone within the next 24 to 48 hours as we head through the weekend regardless it is definitely something that western india and southern pakistan need to watch as any change in the track will have very severe implications as a result no matter which way it goes